how to write a PhD research proposal. So a research proposal is prepared before the actual research APR are carried out. So the aim is to apply for a research funding, to apply for research approval from your supervisor or from your department. So or from the management. So what are the common content of research proposal? So we must have title, we must have introduction, we must have literature review, we must have research methodology, we must have research design, timetable or gun chart, and, and lastly is dissemination. This is a recommended content of research proposal. Actually, you, you can have uh, various type of uh, research proposal, but this what I recommend here is one of the common content of a research proposal. So what you should write in the introduction section. So we may write the research background, we may write in then we write a problem statement, the research question, research hypothesis, research objective, scope and potential contribution. This look like a chapter one in your thesis. So where is the research issue? So we should write or highlight the research issue in research question. So what are the content of research background? So it should contain, okay, research background should contain a rational or motivation for your research which answer what motivate you to conduct the research project, why the research is needed. So the rationale should be placed within the context of existing research or your own experience or observation. But in IT or in computer science, we usually base on the literature review. So basically, you have to convince people that you know what you are talking about and that the research is important. So what we should write in the problem statement? Your problem statement must answer this question. What, what is uh, the research issue that you will address in, the, in this thesis or in your research? What have been done to address this issue? Discuss and show the research gap. How is your work similar and differ from other related work? What is new about your work? Which work do you follow or motivate you? Why do you choose the method or technique or framework and etc. So the research issue is highlighted on from the first question that is what is uh, the research issue that you will address in the thesis. You may uh, discuss many other issues but highlight which one that your thesis will focus. And then show the gap. How to show the gap? You can show the gap by showing what others have done in the same topic and what's not yet been done or what are the issues or what questions have not been answered yet. So research question will answer what do you want to prove in this work. Relate it to the research issue in the problem statement. Example of research question in computer science. If the success of hyperheuristic framework is largely due to the appropriate design of the high-level heuristic component, heuristic selection mechanism and the accepting criteria, what is the suitable combination of this component? If population-based methods are good in Exploring the search base of combinatorial optimization problem, how a population of solution can be integrated within the hyperheuristic framework. And then we go to hypothesis. So hypothesis about is about predicting the functional relationship between variables. So we must have independent variables, we must have dependent variables. So we must relate how the independent variable influence or change in the dependent variable. So a hypothesis. 
is a tentative prediction about the nature of relationship between two or more variables. So I hope this is represent an educated guess about what will happen in experiment. Hypotheses are always half tentatively. That means it is not mandatory. But it is very, very helpful or very, very good to have hypotheses because it, it will help you focus in your research. So a research question is simply a hypothesis stated in a question form. So in a hypothesis, we have independent variables. That is the condition to be studied. It is controlled by the experimenter. For example, let's say we have water as independent variable. Dependent variable, the condition affected by the independent variable. It can be controlled by the experiment. For example, plus growth. So the control is the condition that is represented in a normal situation. So let's say we follow the format if then. If water is related to plant growth, then the more you water the plant, the bigger they will grow. So you can have a look on if statement and is related then. And between that is water is independent variable, plant growth is dependent variable. So let's have a look on hypothesis in computer science. This example. If a combination of smoothing function can affect the differentiability of the piecewise objective function, then combining the AGG and FP smoothing function will produce a smooth single line slope on both sides with less computational time. So therefore, in this study, we aim to propose a new smoothing technique to improve the non-differentiability issue of the canonical piecewise objective function by combining AGG and FP. So the first one is the hypothesis, then the second one is the research aid. So you have a look that we connect them with A if then. In between that is the independent variable and dependent variable. In this case, the independent variable is the thing, uh, the variable that we can control. That is a combination of smoothing function. You can choose any combination of smoothing function. And it will affect the dependent variable that is the fragility of this wise objective function. Let's proceed with research objective. So in research objective, usually we have main objective, then we have specific objective. Or sometimes people say main objective as a goal or aim, and then we have objective. So what is the function of main objective? State what is to be achieved by the study in general term. So usually only one per study related to core problem and topic of the study, show target population and place use action work. For example, to determine the factor associated with increased number of diarrhea cases among underfarms in X village. Specific objective, describe the variables that are measured by the study. Several in one study, use action work, for example, to find out method, to determine design, to identify, to formulate, to construct, to enhance. So these are examples of terms that you can use in specific objective. So the quality of objective must have smart quality. That is specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time bound. So stated in logical sequence, follow the logical order of how you will conduct your research. Clear and unambiguous. What is to be done? Specific. Addressing one thing only for each objective. Measurable. Can be evaluated. You can prove that. Use a proper action verb such as to determine, to identify, to design an algorithm, 
do formulate and mathematical something anything that you can evaluate that must be achievable given the resources available you can achieve the result realistic given the local condition that means it is realistic to do this research time bound can be achieved in the given time for example in your case as a phd student you usually standard time is three years so make sure that your research can be finished in three years that means you can have your viva in within three years example of research objective in computer science to develop a hyperheuristic framework that can intelligently combine the high level heuristic component of the hyperheuristic framework using grammatical evolution algorithm let's proceed with research scope and contribution this is very straightforward so research scope is what is your focus what data set that you will use what algorithm that you fo will focus what topic that you will focus and so forth then potential contribution so what is are uh, the expected contribution of your work related to the research issue that you have addressed in the previous section then next section is literature review so must be based on the theoretical framework this uh, literature review might contain about 100 references or more must include reasonable number of up to date references that is within 5 years back so please include uh, recent uh, research in the literature review if you only include all research this shows that your research is no more up to date you must prove that the research in the topic that you have selected is still in uh, active is still going on that, may, that means many work are still working on the same topic so it leads the problem you wish to tackle in your proposed work so what others have done before within this context so in the church review you must uh, discuss what others have done with, with reference to your research what is being done now what problem have been identified what has not been worked on how your work builds or add on to this then next is about research methodology so you need to clearly identify the proposed methodology and method for each objective and justify their use so to do this you need to answer why you have why have you decided upon your methodology why have you decided to use this particular method why are other methods are not appropriate so you need to include details about samples data set number of people to be contacted or experimental setup whichever applicable to you method or data collection the algorithm maybe you can include the pseudo code of your algorithm if you have method for data analysis ethical consideration if applicable so this session should be quite detailed if you apply for a proposal research proposal grant so many funding organizations find that the most common reason for proposal fail is the lack of methodological detail then uh, research design so in research design uh, let's say in experimental based research so we determine all the variables determine the step to do the experiment determine control experiment do the experiment and the control experiment data analysis report writing and so on let's say in prototype development you discuss about the problem analysis to determine the software specification software design software implementation uh, software testing analyze result report writing and so forth then we have gantt and dissemination so gantt is detailed research activity milestone and publication plan then dissemination 
what do you expect to do with the result of your research? So let's say you want to publish in journal, what uh, journal that you are going to publish, publish in proceeding, uh, 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 file for copyright and so forth. This is the output of the research. So this example of gun chart. So draw the uh, work plan, uh, let's say literature review from what month or will you start until what month uh, and so on, so forth. So this is detail about the research activity. So a good research proposal. So good research proposal must be relevant either to the work or funding body or to the student's course. In your case, it's really relevant to your PhD study or your master study. So the research is unique or offer new insight or development. The title, aims and objectives are all clear and concise, comprehensive and thorough background research and literature review has been undertaken. So there is a good match between the issue to be addressed and the pro approach being adopted. The research demonstrates relevant background knowledge and or experience. Timetable, resources and budget have all been worked out thoroughly with most eventually discovered. So if you apply for research grant, you need to uh, uh, draw a good budget for your research proposal but in your PhD usually we do not put a uh, budget in your we do not include budget in your research proposal so usually useful policy and practice implication if uh, relevant to the policy or practice so why research proposal fail so aim objective issues research gap are unclear or vague there is a mismatch between the approach being adopted and the issue to be addressed. The overall plan is too ambitious and difficult to be achieved in the time scale. The researcher does not seem to have conducted enough in their background research. Why the research proposal fail? Problem is of insufficient importance. Information about data collection method is insufficiently detailed. Information about data analysis method is insufficiently detailed. Time scale is inappropriate or unrealistic. This topic has been done too many times before and this indicates a lack in background research. As a summary, most research projects will require the production of research proposal. We set out clearly and concisely your proposed project. So before you write your proposal, check whether you need to produce it in a specific format. Research proposals stand a better chance of being accepted if you are able to prove that you have the required knowledge and or experience to carry out the research effectively. So it is important to make sure that your proposed method will address the problem you have identified and that you are able to display an understanding of this method. So research proposal should include title, introduction, literature review, research methodology, research design, timetable or gun chart and finally dissemination. So thank you for watching. All the best for your future.